My name is Anne Charlotte Peterson, and I'm a senior director in the Loan and Recovery Team. I'm joined today by Manesh Patel, director in the Loan and Recovery Team, to discuss a recent article analyzing the performance of our recovery ratings in the media and entertainment sector. So, Manesh, welcome. Hello. And, hello. And um, so, what prompted this particular article? Well, th thanks again for inviting me to the program today. The article is a follow up to a study that we completed earlier this year. And in that study, we benchmarked over 100 bankruptcy filings with our recovery estimates to see what we can learn in, as, uh, in regards to our performance. As part of that process, we, we identified that media and entertainment had the highest number of defaults, so we thought it would be interesting to do a deeper dive into the industry to see if there's any additional lessons learned and if we could uh, improve our recovery analysis. Definitely. So what were some of the key themes that emerged from this work? Well, it might sound obvious, but industry structure really matters. And it's important to look at a company's unique circumstances when assessing recovery prospects. Specifically for media and entertainment, we found that printing, publishing, and newspapers uh, sector was, was a, had the highest concentration of defaults. And these are sectors that we classify as having severe structural impacts and heavy cyclical effects as well during a downturn. We also included in, in the report a table that landscapes these different factors with different industry segments and which could be useful for the reader to, to assess the future recovery prospects. Now, what about um, how do they perform in terms of rank ordering? The good news is we continue to have good rank ordering. And essentially what this means is a debt investor that, has a, uh, that owns a debt instrument with a one S&P recovery rating can expect on average to have a higher recovery than if that that instrument had a two recovery rating. We also found that it was useful to review management's estimate of recoveries, but it's also important for investors to have other recovery estimates. For example, sometimes recoveries can be in the form of reinstated debt or, or equity, and these, these instruments don't traditionally trade that often, and it's very hard to value. And in, in our report, we provide a case study of Reader's Digest where the ultimate recoveries were much lower than those estimated of management. So uh, what were the key lessons learned from, from this work, Manesh? Well, it's important that our recoveries have a forward view of business and industry pr prospects. So it's not only important to find the factors that cause the default, but we also, as part of our recoveries, need to estimate what is the likelihood that earnings declines were reverse or how successful the turnaround is going to be. Also, in the depth of a recession, sometimes valuation multiples can spike lower than our estimate. And for companies where we think asset values are resilient, we think it's important that, that in some cases, it's worth assuming their asset values return to the mean or the historical norm. Thank you very much, Manesh. Thank you. And thank you for joining us today on Credit Matters. For more information on this article, please click on the Related Content tab next to this video.